and you were never more than seven minutes away from weather time. We're just trying to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> Your knowledge is pretty well. Good morning. Yeah, just, just a little test there. Uh, but you know what, this Friday morning, Ken, it is a bit humid. We have temperatures in the 60s and the 70s. And we stay very warm throughout the second half of the day. So get ready for a high of 88 degrees, unlike yesterday. Moisture will be higher, so get ready for a muggy Friday. We'll also have a chance for a few scattered showers and storms, most of that popping up this afternoon. So not everyone will see rain, but just prepare for those showers to start bubbling up on radar the second half of the day. Saturday, just a spotty shower, mainly south of the city. Not wash out by any means, 87 degrees. Sunday, we actually pull down to 84 behind a weak cold front. We'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds. So we'll get up to a cool start to next week, but the 90s are right around the corner. More details about that warming trend in my full seven-day forecast. That's all coming up in just a few. Katie. Thank you, Brittany. Let's get back to the LIRR. Just want to give you a heads up. I know it's early and we're still kind of rubbing our eyes a little bit here. Eastbound trains today and Monday will be bypassing Mineola between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. That's due to ongoing track work. You can take the Hempstead branch. You can also take trains east to Hicksville and then take the bus back to Mineola. Everybody else right now on or close to schedule. So I mentioned this last time. It's that daily construction. We are in the middle of clearing it at the GW Bridge. A little bit of a slowdown, though, in both directions. Alternate side parking rules are in effect citywide today. Charlene and Ken, back to you. All right, thanks so much. 440, an E. coli outbreak linked to Wendy's restaurants.